This is Hama, the fourth largest city in Syria, with a population of around a million. Located on the Orontes River, Hama is one of the oldest inhabited cities in the Middle East and a historically important agricultural and economic center throughout the Assyrian, Roman, and Byzantine eras. During those periods, Hama became known for its unique geography, scenery, and gardens, along with its famous norias, huge wooden water wheels that were constructed along the banks of the Orontes for irrigation. How did this beautiful ancient city become the staging ground for one of Syria's most significant historical events that would echo until the present day? It's a story of unspeakable horrors, as well as tremendous hope. Night and day, artillery duels preceded the victorious advance on Damascus, the capital city. Following the sykes pico agreement and French mandate, Syria became a fertile ground for instability and a long series of military coups. Hafez al-Assad, a military officer, participated in three such coups before appointing himself the ruler of Syria in 1971. The government then succumbed to single-party rule with Assad's inner circle of Ba'athists rising to power. This inner circle was able to maintain power by creating a cult of personality centered around the Assad family, which would rule Syria with an iron fist, an unbroken 51-year regime continuing even today. Freedom of speech is a foreign concept in Assad's Syria. Foreign media is not allowed at all. Syrians enjoy zero involvement in politics, and the walls have ears. Nobody dared to question Hafez al-Assad's rule until the mid-70s, in which rising dissent against Hafez would later peak in 1982. And the center of this revolt at the time was the city of Hama. Details of the events that took place are very scarce due to the regime's complete control over the media and the lack of cell phones at the time. One of the main actors in the counter movement against the regime was the Muslim Brotherhood, an Islamic political group that would become something of a boogeyman label used to accuse anyone who questioned the authority. For example, Mustafa Khalifa, a Syrian novelist and political writer, was famously arrested in 1982 on charges of being a member of the Muslim Brotherhood, despite him being of the Christian faith. The full aftermath of the regime's response to dissent, especially in the 80s, would be ingrained in Syrians' memories for generations to come. In February 1982, Hama was put under military siege and a nationwide crackdown on dissidents began under the orders of Hafez al-Assad. The Syrian army, led by Hafez's brother Rifat, destroyed roughly half the city of Hama with tanks and artillery shellfire during the siege which lasted 27 days. Estimates state that the human casualties were between 20 to 40,000 people, all killed in what Syrians know as the Hama massacre. UK journalist Robert Fisk was the only Western journalist allowed in Hama during the massacre, under the strict supervision of the regime's intelligence. He recalled being near a tank unit shelling the old city in an apparent scorched earth policy. Syrians themselves recall countless mass killings that took place in Hama, as well as many other Syrian cities. For example, men were frequently taken from residential buildings, lined up and shot in the streets. Such massacres are now known by names of neighborhoods, as well as the involved families' surnames. During the events of the Hama massacre, thousands of Syrians fled from all across the country, creating diaspora communities that became known as the Hama expatriates, while countless others were detained and disappeared. Security forces have opened fire on protesters against the government of Bashar al-Assad. During the Syrian uprising, beginning in March 2011, Hama rose up again and for a time became an epicenter of the Syrian revolution, witnessing the famous Million People protest on July 1, 2011. Two days later, tanks were deployed in the city and all signs of dissent were yet again thwarted. All Syrian cities that participated in the anti-regime movement of 2011 faced a very similar fate to Hama in 1982. Large-scale destruction was used to annihilate entire neighborhoods in major cities like Aleppo, Homs, Dara, Raqqa, and Damascus countryside. Roughly 50% of Syria's basic social infrastructure was destroyed, leaving a massive civilian death toll, 
and the world's largest refugee crisis in decades. The perpetrators remain free, as the Syrian regime is currently trying to normalize its relations with the rest of the world, and the perpetrator of the infamous Hamam massacre, Rifat al-Assad, although convicted by France for money laundering, was never held accountable for his horrendous crimes against the Syrian people. Until recently, Rifat led a luxurious life in exile in Paris for over a decade before returning home mere months ago to escape the money laundering charges in France. Meanwhile, countless Syrians remain detained by the regime, and those who fled the country are unable to come back home due to the ongoing oppression by the Assad regime.